making mozzarella at home in 30 minutes. Ciao a tutti! Bentornati sul mio canale oppure benvenuti! Ciao, sono Katie, vivo in Italia e adoro mozzarella. Questo formaggio è incredibile, veramente! Ho fatto un video un paio di settimane fa come fare mozzarella con il caseficio molto vicino a qua. In questo video, invece, io faccio la mozzarella. Io, baby. Ok, so this video is all about making mozzarella at home. So I'm not claiming to be a mozzarella expert like the guys down the street in my local cheese shop that I that I did a video about earlier. They are true experts. However, I do have some experience in the cheese industry. Uh, if you've gotten my book, Cheese, Wine and Bread, you know that I worked at a cheese shop for years in London. You know that I lived on a farm making goat's milk cheese every single day. I know a thing or two about cheese, friends. And the fact is that some cheeses really lend themselves to being made at home. DIY cheese is a thing. Ricotta is a great one to make. Paneer is a great one to make at home. Um, yogurt, which isn't really a cheese, but it's in like kind of a cheesy category. It's not quite milk, not quite cheese. Like I love making yogurt at home. Mozzarella is another one. Definitely doable, really fun, especially for all you cheesophiles out there. So before we get started into how to make mozzarella, I need to thank the Quirky Club, my incredible Patreon community. They are what makes these videos possible. And in exchange, they get exclusive behind the scenes videos. They get monthly recipes. And we have monthly live chats that are so, so fun. So if you're interested in joining, I hope you'll check it out. The link is in the description box below. And in the meantime, Let's make some mozzarella, shall we? Yes. Well, I've already made it, but I'll show you how I made it. So what you will need to make mozzarella is a digital thermometer, as well as a long knife, a spatula, a ladle, something to scoop that lets liquid through, such as a slotted spoon, plastic heat-proof gloves, a large pot, a large bowl, and a colander that will go inside the large bowl. And you'll also need, for ingredients, one gallon of whole milk. That's 4.5 liters. You know, you could also use 2% milk, skim milk, or goat's milk, a variety of milk, but, you know, I'm choosing to go the traditional route with whole milk. Really important though, you want to avoid milk that is ultra pasteurized. So that UHT pasteurized, you don't want that because that milk has actually lost its ability to turn into curd. You'll also need citric acid, one and a half teaspoons of that. This will help with coagulation, separating the curds in the whey. And a fourth teaspoon of rennet, that's 1.2 milliliters. This is the enzyme that also aids with coagulation, really making sure that those proteins clump together, forming curds. And one teaspoon of fine sea salt. All right, let's get started. Add the citric acid to about a cup of cold water and mix that in really well. Then we'll add it to the pot. And then pretty much straight away, you want to add the cold milk. So what that citric acid was doing is bringing the milk up to the proper acidity for mozzarella making. So now let's turn on the flame and have your digital thermometer handy because we're gonna keep on checking the temperature until it reaches 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius. Still got a little bit to go. So while that is heating up, um, I'm gonna get some water on this stove over here because I'm gonna heat up the water for the stretching of the curds. All right, and it is at 32, so let's go ahead and take it off the heat. Okay, now it's time to add the rennet and then we're gonna stir it for about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, now that is going to sit for 10 minutes undisturbed. So I'll set my timer. Our 10 minutes is up. Yeah, you can see how it's kind of coming away from the side more cleanly. All right, I think it's ready to cut into. You want a long, sharp knife for this or something like an offset spatula will also do the trick. And we're gonna cut it into a grid. All right, 
Now we're going to put it back on the flame and we're gonna bring it up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. All right, great. It has reached temperature and now I'm going to stir it for two minutes. And you wanna stir it gently, like don't be too hyperactive about it. Curds are gentle things, so you want to treat them as such. Now we are going to scoop the curds from the whey, and to do that, we will need our handy slotted spoon situation, our colander, and the bowl to rest the colander in. Then just scoop away. Uh, water that I have been heating up since the beginning, we want it to get to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 79 degrees Celsius. This is where protective gloves come in handy uh, because this is very hot water. A couple solid tablespoons, uh, kind of overflowing spoonfuls of curd here. So I'm working this for a good, a good couple minutes here. And here I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because that goes far for flavor, very important. Don't want to miss this step because you will taste the difference. <laughs> and then here is our beautiful finished ball of mozzarella. So Cheers to your chin chin. I would say we've got enough curd here to make another ball this size. Oh man, I am super excited to dig into these because they look really stinking good. First though, with the leftover whey, I suggest saving it for another use. I give all kinds of tips and suggestions for what to do with it in my book. It's excellent. Did I make that? Yeah, yeah, yes, I did. This would be so good with a little olive oil dribbled over it. Dribbled. A little mm -hmm. olive oil drizzled over it in filo d'olio. A little salt, a little oregano or basil, some sliced tomatoes. You know the deal. You know the caprese I'm talking about. Um, also, yeah, just like so good melted on a pasta dish. Yeah, this is great. I hope that, I hope you, you all try this. I hope this was interesting to see how it can be done, even if you never try it. Like, oh, that's a thing that can be done at home. You know that there's way more cheesy fun recipes, adventures in this book, Cheese, Wine, and Bread. So I hope that you will pick up a copy for yourself or a loved one. Just saying, like the holidays are, are nearing. This is a great, great gift. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for sticking around, making some mozzarella with me. As always, thank you so much to the Quirky Club. You all know I adore you. Thank you for supporting my work. And I'll see everyone back here really soon. Ci vediamo alla prossima.